when this all is really not enough for you, then you have the opportunity to really dig in the system and please open a new window. We are just not enough, I think, and search for Ubuntu development. So this is not so uh, focused on Ubuntu by itself. So this is not the only thing you can develop here. Uh, this is development in common. So you will get up the standard integrated development environment and get some additional software on. And you have here the choice of to, to develop some separated parts of Ubuntu to get some applications for Ubuntu on, what are apps and so. And we have to install some software to get a full featured integrated development environment and I showed this to you in some moments. If you look here with get started now, then you will see uh, that's very simple to get up a development environment here, get installed and get productive. So start by installing the Ubuntu SDK and that is what we just want to do now. For installing the Ubuntu SDK it may be helpful for getting the latest release of the SDK to include the PPA in this address or with this address. Well, including PPAs are shown to you by this tutorial in the appropriated clip and chapter. And so I only do this here with the st standard repositories, the default repositories. And please up, start up the Ubuntu Software Center. And first it's helpful to search for Qt Creator. This is the very basic IDE and this is a full featured one so it's very uh, it's very powerful and equal to some products like Riddle Studio and please install this. The Qt creator has some basic examples that you can create in the creator just for getting uh, on what it's doing, how it's doing, get some little programs excuse me for a second I give pathways to the system and well there are many many example files around but software center is not so able to uh, find them all I tried here Qt base and examples and example that was Qt base example trying suggestion so we have it here these are some example files that you can get in there. Qt cross-platform application framework, Qt primary features. I install them also. Then I switch back. So it must be installed now. And the last is the Ubuntu SDK by itself. We have it here. Please install this also. And well, we see us here in some minutes because there are many files to install and then I'll show you more technical package management system than the Ubuntu Software Center. It's more for technical users. After installing you have here Qt, Qt Creator, I've already started it and the Ubuntu SDK. So in Ubuntu, in Qt Creator you have a Ubuntu page. This is here because the ins of the installation of Ubuntu SDK. And you get here quick access to development resources and start of appropriated projects and so on all around what you need to get here started with Ubuntu development also so Ubuntu is not limited to PC platforms or desktop platform platforms you can also uh, 
get on for a version of Ubuntu that is about phones, smartphones, and something in this, this direction. You can also start this with a click on the SDK button. In fact, it's a call of Qt, but Qt is not limited to Ubuntu uh, only. It can also do common programming projects, and you have here the opportunity to build them, to, to debug them, and so on. It's a full-featured IDE. We have one more point to do. So, Software Center is good for the end user, and it reduces the number of shown packages to you of shown softwares dramatically. When you want to get deeper access to the software packages, what are in fact available on your system, then you pl then please install the Synaptic Package Package Manager. And I'll start this here for showing. And with the package manager here, this is a synaptic run, you can search for Qt and examples. And you see here you get a much more longer list than in software center. So this is really all software that's, that is available to you. And I've already installed with the software center Qt base, base 5 examples. I install here some more and give me here some seconds to get them on. So dbg packages are for debugging purposes. So we don't want to debug the code in there or the examples by itself. It's enough for us to get here the example files and you see we have here many many to choose please look that you only install Qt5 packages or not named packages for Qt because Qt3 and Qt4 are much older, much more older versions of Qt. When you have all packages that you want to have marked for installation apply this and you will see this here a little information window and to be installed there are some packages marked and listed here and I apply this changes and we see yours in some seconds. When you start Q Qt Creator again you will see here under the menu point welcome examples so please click on this and now there are much projects that you can use play around whatever learn from how to do this all and i hope you have enjoyed my little tutorial and it is of some benefit to you